Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a close look at the nylon or neoprene holster compared to a Kydex holster. But before we get into that, make sure that you are subscribed to the page and you hit the bell notification so you can be notified when new videos come out. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's dive in for a closer look. So the nylon holster or neoprene holster, uh, depending on whatever brand you get, they have some very distinct disadvantages to them and uh, I'm going to go through these as unbiased as I can, but I want to keep safety in mind at the forefront of my at the forefront of my thoughts because carrying a weapon can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have the right equipment. So the first advantage is that there is absolutely no retention outside of the pressure that your your pants and your belt put against the gun when it's inside of your pants. So I'm going to grab onto the holster without touching any part of the gun and the gun's starting to fall free. Now th this one's actually a little bit torn up inside from the front sight, but if I take this one and I grab just the holster, it just slides out no problem. So that's one, one big issue. Another issue is that, especially with, with this model specifically, um, not of the firearm of the holster obviously, uh, this model of holster is notorious for having negligent discharges now, if you don't know a negligent discharge is when the weapon fires without you intentionally grabbing the pistol and pulling the trigger. And the way that that can happen is that right here, because it is so loose and flexible around the trigger, I can actually get my finger on the trigger through the holster and pull the trigger back. And I've heard stories of people carrying at the four o'clock position and their t-shirt got bunched up next to the holster and it had just enough pressure to get inside of the not inside, but through the holster into the trigger guard. And he actually shot himself through the back of his uh, butt and right in through the top, right out through the bottom, tore up his butt. All kinds of, uh, all kinds of injuries happened because of poor holster choice. Uh, so don't let that be you. Another, op another, another reason that I don't like nylon or neoprene holsters is because they are the absolute cheapest material you can come up with. Um, there is no rigidity, there's no uh, long lifespan to this stuff. It's pretty much, you know, a couple months of regular use and it's going to be pretty well trashed. Um, the belt clips on them are typically very inexpensively made, meaning that they have low quality over the lifetime. So look how loose this belt clip is. And this is just a really cheap, thin plastic. And then this belt clip slides a whole bunch for one, like that. And this has just this little U-shape right there that that's supposed to be what goes underneath your belt so that as you draw your, your pistol, the holster is supposed to stay in place because of that little bend in the belt clip. Now having such a slight bend means that you have to pull very, very gently to not have that come up out of your pants with, with the gun itself. Compare all that stuff to a Kydex holster. Now you can see here that I'm gonna be holding it by the, just the holster, not the gun. I can shake this thing pretty aggressively and it's not gonna come out unless you want it to come out. So it, that snap that you heard right there is the positive retention, which is right here at the trigger guard. And it's, it's not gonna come out on its own unless you really want it to come out. Um, now, a big advantage of Kydex holsters is that the material is much higher quality than uh, nylon or neoprene holsters. The lifespan is several, several years. I've had this holster for nearly five years and this holster for more than six years. And I carry both of these all the time. This is my, my go-to holster. So I've, I've worn this one for almost every day for six years. And it looks as good today as it did the day that I made it. Uh, there's no deformation, no marring on it. it it's, uh, it's, it's obviously holding its shape and it's got enough retention that it's not going to lose the pistol if I ever get into, uh, you know, take it to the ground kind of scuffle. Uh, now with Kydex holsters, you're able to have the option to mold to a light or a laser because it's molded specifically to this firearm versus this kind of holster that it's just it's, it's just sized for a, a pistol that's about this size. It's not custom to, this is the Springfield XD. Uh, it's not custom made to the XD. 
where this, this holster is made specifically for the Glock 19 or the Glock 23. So you have the customization feature where um, you know, it's, it's made specifically for that weapon itself. As I mentioned previously, the nylon and um, neoprene holsters, when you're wearing it inside of your pants, if you have to draw your weapon out, this is going to get smashed shut because of the pressure from your pants or your belt versus this is going to stay the same shape. Now I can even, I can squeeze it a little bit and it's got some flex to it. It's still going to let me reholster and I can even reholster without even looking at my holster. So if that's something that you're concerned about, uh, definitely steer away from the neoprene nylon holsters and I highly recommend you go with a Kydex holster. The only disadvantage that I've ever come across with Kydex holsters is uh, over a long period of time or uh, misuse, it can, it can start to get some stress, uh, stress fractures on it or small cracks. But you know, that's, I'm, I, like I said, I'm six years into this holster and I haven't had any issues. So again, guys, I urge you to not buy these nylon holsters. Tell your friends not to buy them. Just in the interest of safety, you don't wanna hear a story about your friend getting you know, shot in the leg because his holster malfunctioned or he had some sort of issue where the gun went off and he didn't have the right holster to protect the weapon itself. All right guys, so that was a kind of in-depth look, uh, kind of like a fly-by look at uh, nylon holsters versus Kydex holsters. I hope this was helpful to somebody. If it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out. And because YouTube doesn't like people linking to gun parts, I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can find a link to my website where I have all kinds of gun parts listed. I'll also leave you a link down below where you can get 10% off at LAS Concealment through my link. Uh, it's also on my website if you want to go there first. Um, thanks for stopping by.